Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. I've got to pause right here because I noticed something just as I finished the last episode. She works at the chicken coop, and she's bringing wheat over. Though we already have... I wonder what she's bringing over. Well, she's bringing over a tenth. Okay, so is that going to go to 4.09? Or is it cut off at 4 and we lose the rest? We have a chicken egg, which he's probably carrying now, but where did the one-tenth go? Doing some funny math over here. You are going to a well. Okay. Well, we have a chicken egg. Don't know what that means. Stored. So I assume we're hanging on to the first six, and then seventh one goes out to the town? Could be. Okay. Um, sound check. Very good. It's feeling kind of quiet over there. At least it is for me. I forget that you guys get to hear some music in the background. So a couple episodes ago when I was talking about how silent the game is, that might not have made sense to you guys because I've got uh, some auto music that I put in through my uh, Corel Video Studio software. So I've got uh, constant uh, rolling music you know, repeating itself in the background because the game does feel silent right now. I'd be real curious to go back and watch these episodes a year from now or two years from now when this game is flushed out and, and looking pretty close to uh, you know to uh, to its 1.0 release to see what the differences are but okay so chickens are in and we officially still have 20 and two eggs so the eggs are popping in pretty quick wonder how quickly these eggs become chickens how long does a chicken sit on her eggs in real life I want to say it's less than a month it's been a long time. I grew up on a farm, and I have some memories of that, but not enough, not those specific memories. Now, in between episodes, I did sneak over here real quick, because I got to thinking about the Forester being right here. That just felt wrong. It's a long walk to get in over there to get to it. You guys really going to go and cut down a tree already? I am impressed. You are. So, I pushed it back into the forest which means we've got to take down 11 trees to pull that off. But there is something else that needed to be here. I couldn't think of it at the time because I was smelling chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> you know, that just blew my concentration away. Thanks, family. Um, we need hay over here for this guy. And we could put... I don't know. Yes, I can. I can do this and later associate it with this one. So, how did that one work? That's on the back side. No, that's not it. This is the cow shed, and they just make the, the annual exodus to get over here. So, can I field? It's waiting for me to click a button, isn't it? So, let's go from where? We're going to have a field entrance like this, which means we're going to have an orange cone in front of it. So, I probably got to get to about here. Boy, that didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. You, there... No, that's not the field tool. Go to pasture. I was expecting to click on it and be able to form a field. So apparently pasture, you get one. And that is its one. So I can't use this tool the same way I did with the farm to make more fields, which we're harvesting. Yeah, we're, boy, where'd the time go? We're almost all the way through uh, August. We've got three people doing the work. Can we do this? Four months and we've already done almost well, a little more than one-fourth of the process. Okay, I'm going to say we can get that done with what's allocated here already without doing anything extreme. So that's fine. Um, so I cannot put a pasture in here to get myself a placeholder. Hmm, that's what I was wanting. So I'll hold off, but what I was going to say is we could put in a well over here, and we could put in the hay dryers over here, as well the hay barns. But I kind of want the pasture in place to be able to do that. So we need to get this guy going. Let's move him up front again, yeah, so we can make that a goal for this episode. All right, speed up, I think. I think so. How do we do over here? I put a second one in. We're milking. We've got our hay 
and water here. Are we out of season here? I still have a line which tells me he's still willing to do something. So I just need to get somebody over here to uh, swish at the grass a little bit. You know, that swish, swish, swish sound of the scythe. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll make up our own sounds. <laughs> and uh, get uh, hopefully two more racks loaded up for the winter. Because we still have room here. Um, I assume we're going to 10. Yeah, we max out of 10. We've got a little more than two there. We've got four sitting on this guy, but I kind of like to have some sitting on there through the winter, if that's possible. I've done it in the past, but they seem to be busy doing other things right now. Okay, chickens, still good. Another egg, count of 25 chickens already. Wow, I did not expect that. Do we want a second coop? Do we need a second coop? I don't know. I hadn't even thought about that. If I had, I would have put it the other direction, put two of them right here. Hmm. Slow you down a little bit and let's think rather than just leave it on pause. Do we want chickens in a different place? This is where the wheat is, though. But they don't seem to be having any problem getting wheat to it. We could move chickens around just for fun. We do have a void over here. I, what I need to know, though, is what happens when we slaughter chickens. I don't have the ability to choose which chickens to slaughter, so it's not that kind of a thing like the cattle right there. Which, we're at 16 again, and we got some three-year-olds. I wish I knew what years were the optimal years to have in your cow shed. Do they only start giving milk when they hit a certain age? And am I just constantly getting rid of the milk producers sort of a thing? So, it doesn't tell me that a cow is pregnant or anything like that. And I also don't know if a certain number of bowls will increase the efficiency of the certain number of, of newborns for that year. If one bowl is enough or three bowls is three times better. So, so many unanswered questions and still no more grass. Seems like we had that problem once before. We had to delete them and then we put them back in and they immediately came over and started working on them. Let's give that a try, see if that is still a thing. In which case, we'll have to uh, probably wait for a future update to make that change. But let's spin you around. Actually, we'll spin you facing the sun. There, and one more up in there. Now let's see how quickly somebody jumps over here and starts working on these. This one went in first, but this one's closer to people, so we'll see if that's the one. Otherwise, we're getting back in it. No, we're just hauling logs across. Well, somebody else is bringing in clay. That's what we're waiting for anyway, waiting for clay. So speed back up. No, I don't want to speed back up. I wanted to talk about this. So I can wait till 30 or I can just take you right down to 25. We're only going to allow 25. What happens? What is she up to now? She's going... No, she went to the well. She's coming back with water. Is she going to go call a chicken? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, other yeah, so you memorize that. Is one gonna just vanish? You are let me guess, going home. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then sometime in you know November you'll come back to work. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well we have one too many chickens right now. So tell you what, let's just click on you again. Yeah, you're going there. Let's speed this up a little bit. Just kind of waiting for all this construction to happen anyway. And see how quickly she heads off to a bench somewhere. Which means we need to get more benches out here. She is still at home making dinner. Kids are off playing. Husband just went back to work. And kids are just running from house to house having fun. And we're still waiting for her. And yeah, we're we've gone two or three days now. Here she comes. And by now we've got three too many chickens. So click. Now let's see what you do. I guess I want to know what's happening here. Four eggs are available out of our six that we want reserved. Uh, awaiting chicken meat. Zero. She's gonna go out and get a chicken. Or are they just gonna through osmosis just there could be some in here already. That, yeah, that's that's probably it. All right, we'll speed you back up. Chicken meat. We're doing a tenth at a time. <laughs> I guess we're, we're we're plucking feathers right now. That's it. Yeah. 
All right, awaiting wheat. So we've got chicken meat 0.04. Did she leave? How'd she get past me? I guess I was staring over here. And she's carrying chicken meat. And now she's getting water. Hmm. And we're going to see chicken meat just vanishing from... No, we're not. We're not going to see chicken meat vanishing. Okay. Well, how much beef is in the system? And how much chicken meat? Chicken eggs, nine. Chicken eggs, nine. Yet there's chicken eggs, five over here. Okay, that's unusual. Um, I'm looking for chicken meat. I'm not seeing any. I'm looking for beef. I'm not seeing any. Do I pull beef out of here and put chicken meat in there? And chicken eggs. Or do we set up another stall? Hmm. Do we put a stall in front of the coop? Saying, if you want your chicken stuff, you can all come to me. Hmm. That would eliminate a lot of the uh, the transporting, wouldn't it? Is that possible? Let's see here. Stall is this one. Market stall. Yeah, we do have room here. That's an interesting way of looking at it. What if we just have a chicken cellar right here? Kind of like in front of various farms, you feel, you'll find just a little produce stand right there in f at the road entrance to their farm they'll come out sometimes it's it's by honor system they'll put a bunch of vegetables out there and, and leave a place to, to drop off a donation and just you know trust that you'll be honest and and uh, leave them some funds let's do this rather than th employ three more people one at each of these these market areas to include chickens let's just put in chicken eggs and chicken meat and hire a worker that is not a guy and put in no laborers okay so with that we'll see who's available and how are we doing over here we're at field number three we are middle of september so one and a half months so two and a half months maximum now three months maximum should finish this off out of four that works fine so you just did what you brought a load of something you're carting 0.04 chicken meat to to here. We got a guy in there. Oh, good. So we've got hmm, Michaelio, Michaelo. So it looks something like that. And then we've got Clavdia in there, and they're just taking care of the granary for us. Good. You guys. We've got no logs. You're bringing a log, but you're chopping up about as fast as you go. we got no wood over here now because you have gotten a hold of all the wood. And just have firewood over here now because you're not collecting firewood because when we did that, that's all you were doing was one-tenth firewood over and over and over. But we are collecting firewood over here now. How are you doing? I got nine of them. Good. So do we want to do that kind of a thing out over here? I was thinking about adding that to there. We could just kind of cycle this. I wonder if that's the way to do it. Putting too much firewood in here just guarantees it's going to fail. But what if we did five? A, a manageable amount. You're going to take forever getting those five, then you're done, then we can go bring some more wheat. Then you bring a few more, and then bring some wheat. Rather than a hundred. Maybe that's how we can make some of these that have a, a free slot do something when the other ones are all maxed out speaking of so sunflower and hemp we're waiting for that we got hemp actually coming in okay now i could hit gather and force them to bring this hemp in but they won't they'll bring all this in then they'll bring all this in and eventually bring this in how are we on potatoes potato harvest there's nine out there potatoes in the wild there's only 0.07 really could use some wheat we don't need it now we'll be fine we don't have to buy potatoes. We don't have to trade potatoes. We're at 447 from that trade of the chickens. So I'm curious to see where we're going to land in an episode or two. If we're going to be back in the 600s where we started. Now that the eggs and the chicken meat are going to be uh, heading out there and doing their thing. So I'm not really seeing any way to move chickens from one coop to another. That's what I was, what was going through my mind as, as I was questioning whether I should have put two coops in. When we hit the max, they start slaughtering. So, and we got no hay over here like I was hoping. Okay. That, no, it never got done. Okay. 
So, an overflow of chickens. And what is with the six of ten eggs for breeding? Give me your thoughts on that. The chickens are are multiplying because of the eggs, or are they going to do it anyway? I wonder if the quantity of eggs you have has to do with the rate at which it will increase. We could quickly take this down to ten and then put it back up. If we had ten eggs there, it would you know, go five times faster than if we had two eggs. I don't know. I think about these things. They keep me up at night. Um, over there, we're still waiting on that. No laborers, but we're getting our harvest in, and I'm kind of thankful for that. So let's kick speed back up and see if we can get some progress going on. What else is there to add for the future? We've got houses over here, and already get this to really function. We could have a pretty poor harvest over here next time. So we got more people living out here. So let's go ahead and place. Hmm. Two or three more houses or a strip in the middle for services. Thinking there's going to be more houses out over here eventually. In fact, we could start curbing this out. I like the way that these look around a forest and around a farm. Of course, this won't be going around a farm, but it could be curving out like this on its way to opening up into this area. Ooh, I kind of like that. Let's leave you. Let's delete you. And we'll think about how to make this happen. While I'm doing that, because that could take up, you know, 10, 15 minutes of laying those out and getting it done. Is there anything else I need to be concerned about? I don't think so. We've still got three workers there. we got lots of fish. In fact, let's take you down a notch. Put you back into the system somewhere else. Maybe over here. Um, everything else seems to be doing fine. We're, yeah, we keep calling them, and we keep having chicken meat. I feel like there's, when it says chicken meat zero, there's another number off the side of the screen over there, and it's just not in the box fully. I think that's what's going on there. Maybe it was a 0.5. In fact, that makes sense. It seems like she brought over five one tenths that first time. So probably a chicken makes 0.5 meat. Chickens are smaller. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else to be concerned about. We don't have any more hay, but we're still doing fine over here. You, there we are, have not moved. That's worrisome. I guess I'm going to take this person out because we're not accomplishing anything there. I did that so she'd work over here because these guys are run by the, uh, what's it say? It's uh, by the dryer laborers or, laborers or cowshed workers. So one or the other. Messenger from you want to sell us salt lime and dried fish which I thought about doing and I never did let's do that let's get some dried fish over they want to buy wheat and shoes and I don't think we've now nah, we don't have enough shoes yet to really make this happen we need we need to really ramp up the cow industry so we can be slaughtering cows several of them every year and get lots of shoes going so we can start selling them which means probably three or four cow sheds worth but if we were to bring in ten of the dried fish. We're at 460 now. We're going to be getting a little bit low here. I've got to keep that in mind. But maybe next year's potato crop and actually sunflowers. Make sure we have plenty of sunflower next time. Then that, that oil will help us out. Um, can I do this while I'm in this mode? I cannot. Let's get 10 of you coming in. Deal. 100. So leave us a 360. Deal. I've never gone negative. I've been told that you can and it doesn't end the game or anything. It just keeps you in the negative. But I've, I've never had a town actually drop below zero. And I kind of want to keep it that way. You guys are coming in from there. Um, sunflower oil. Do we have enough to actually make a trade? There you are. One. No, we don't. Um, you are unemployed now? Yeah. Sunflower in the system? There should be none. Sunflower harvest, though, but you can see right there... Like five, six lines down, it's just a garble or all the... In fact, there's something else I needed to add to that note of suggestions. We need to expand this a little bit so the texts don't crawl over top of each other. So we have some unknown quantity of sunflower being harvested right there and on its way in. The harvest is almost done. We're into October. So August, September, October, and November. So the end of November is when this has to be finished and it'll be fine. And then... There's 12. Interesting. 
because we have stuff in the fields we 12 at the at you know in spring for sowing was two plowed fields worth of laborers no because we have 12 sitting there we're capable of right there so what were we 16 all 20 so six per field is what it's capable of okay we'll never get to that point we'll take it back down to probably eight is the max we'll ever see in this town just don't have enough people to do that but okay that that feels right is how that should have what i would expect that to look like so what's happening here now nobody has come to work interesting because of the harvest because we asked for a lady and we're probably running short on them we've got actually a lot of jobs set up for ladies which is good beginning town you don't have any jobs available for them so now we've got plenty of of uh, lady jobs and guy jobs which uh, which helps out a lot everybody has a chance to jump in and and bring an income into the household and we still have not had a, a notice that I'm aware of you know that I've noticed that have come up to, to tell us that we have a family out of money uh, we were running low over in this area 23 11 and 10 so these two are still kind of iffy um, what can we do about that don't know we were still wanting to set up houses over there but where are we 20 minutes into this that is an issue to think about what can we do here I don't know what we can because there's nothing nearby that could supply it uh, let's go somewhere else over here is town hall warehouse we could bring in a firewood deliverer we do see firewood walking over here a lot like some she just or, yeah the lady right here just brought some in so firewood was brought over to this area would definitely make it a little bit easier on them and we put one job into it i guess we could do that uh you are here warehouse now what do we want this area to look like where does this building go it doesn't go near the town hall it's an entirely different kind of construction eventually be more houses snaking through here as we do grow this direction um, we could do more fishing, but that doesn't give the ladies a job over here. So, what do we do with this, and where does it go? Is it a break between the houses? Kind of like this. Um, curve over a little bit, and T is what I want. Something like that. And then a market stall over there, too, but these aren't that far away. And the firewood is here. Right? No, it's right here. No firewood in that one now. So that's the distance they're going for firewood, and this is the distance they're going for food. Guess if I was going to do it, it would be something like this. Just trying to think of what else to put there. Maybe a little park? Directly behind this guy? That's yeah, kind of interesting. Let's push you back into there. Yeah, it might be kind of neat looking. Alright then. In order though. Forestry was not all that important. Um, house was. Farm was. Let's do that order now. House right after that. And after that. That's why the town hall just keeps getting shoved backwards. Though once all this is brought in, we get another burst of labor. Heading out there and getting things done. And you guys are working over here. So it's happening. Got a bunch of wood coming in. Uh, laborers are getting resources to the site. Uh, nails are already there, so they're about to put the rest of the roof up. And then, let's see what we got. So, a little more wood arriving. That's right there. Nails are probably already here. Clay is all done. Then we just need thatch to arrive after that. Then this will be finished and looking like that. I like the, the ridge detail on these buildings. Nice wooden ridge to, to for the water to flow down, hit the thatch, and work its way through nice little details all right then let's lay out some houses and probably call this one done you're there and you just got that crooked look to you oh it drives me nuts i'm gonna get rid of you we haven't we haven't committed to it yet anyway let's do houses start from scratch and about all i'm gonna get we're gonna start crooked no matter what although we're gonna curve off this direction so let's start with the cro crooked in this direction and let's line you up like that we have a pathway right here 
but there doesn't have to be a pathway continuing through. You can be about there, and your width is about here as far as the, the width of the road in that area. It's kind of like that right there. So you're going to go there, hold the shift. Now, let's do how so? R? One, two. We'll do two. And then we'll push back till the house is parallel with the front fence. We'll do a couple of these. One, two, and just see what that looks like. There. And we're curving a little bit. Some of my button pushes are not equal to other button pushes. That's what's happening there. These two look good. That's too much. Okay. You're gone. You're gone. And I've got to make this house look like that again. So theoretically it's one, two, one, two, but it's not. So hold down the control. Yeah, control? No, alt. There we go. Now we can see the parallel. So T. There we go. That's where we started. So how best do I get consistent button pushes? Just little taps with the fingernail, right? All right, we'll see if that worked. Okay, parallel there, about the same width between the fence and the sides, and shift. All right, let's try that again. Tap, tap. All right, something like that. And press U. That's looking more consistent on the back side there. Okay. Then let's do one more. So very lightly, like so. There, there, and there. That wasn't enough. Okay, you go away. Just because I'm a perfectionist. Or at least I try to be. You, there, and one more. See if that works. About like so. Now, that's looking pretty good. Pretty good arc in there. All right, let's leave it at that. You guys are all there, though. This first one would be nice to get up into there. Yeah, I think so. Then we'll work on services. Where to? I guess water should be in this area. How far are you from water, though? You're actually only right there. Although, that does seem to work well. Water for these guys is also available for the houses. More water out here would have been nice. I think so. And it doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost a, uh, um, an employee, you know, a worker. Though I may want a third stall right here. Let's put the water right there. And right there, another well. How so? They're going to pick up... How do we do this? Do they walk only to the bucket end? You know, theoretically, you walk over to... What's that look like? Now that's just a wait. It's not a release. I can picture this a different way. You know, that the bucket end is actually heavier. In that, it would be a rope coming down. You just release it, it drops in, then pull the rope down and hook the rope, and it would bring it back up. But I guess that the counterweight takes the place of that. Here, you just grab this thing, and and it's basically the same weight as the bucket. So your lifting, you know, your lifting is negated. So this is the the working end over here. Okay. So this guy there and R to this point here. Which makes them walk around a little bit further, shrinking that road a bit. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of also like to kind of corral this road and get a nice gray curve that moves along the front here. But don't know if I'm going to be able to easily do that because no matter what I do, they're going to some are going to walk this side, some are going to walk the other side, and we're still going to end up with a road that's twice as wide. So it doesn't quite work the same on an inside corner, I guess, is what I'm thinking of. Hmm. Okay, so we've curved these guys out. We've still not got this guy finished, so he's really close. Waiting thatch. Let's speed this up again. We'll get that guy finished, and we'll call this an episode. Harvest is in. we are got a couple folks in here cleaning up the rest. Hopefully more will be in here before we get into February and actually get this all done. 
then I need to sit back and rethink how we're going to lay out the fields, assuming that this guy gets done. We may have to go one more year without. In fact, we just might. Hmm. I guess next episode we need to really concentrate forcing people to work on this so we can get it up before the end of February and get that going. Though we may not be able to man it. That is possible. We may have to shut down everything to get the two farms planted. Yeah, it's quite possible until we get more people in town. Otherwise, waiting for this. Thatch is theoretically on the way. Four Thatch are there already. One is coming. And we already have a worker on his way. And he'll start putting up all of the stuffs. So the other Thatch is right behind you. Had to get a cart to bring that one. The ladies can carry one all by themselves, guy. <laughs> all right, so what are we doing? Put up more rafters. Oh, we're putting up the uh, uh, supports going across. The thatch then grabs that and lays on them. Okay. And there it goes. Though we're going in in panels. That's interesting. Versus the way you would place the thatch off in you know, rows. Oh, well, that works. And which means, was there really enough thatch? Yeah, we're going in in parts. 0.12s at a time. And we're just about there. We've got cows. Okay. Um, and we, we need to reassign them. That's right. So pause right here. Next time we'll reassign cattle, get them moved over, and kind of think about how that's all going to work. So with that, we're going to call this one finish. No worker to unload trade wagon. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think about that. It's probably too late. We'll let her run just another minute just to see if this was a, an utter failure or not. There's still nobody jumping in. Yeah, this one's going to go away. He's only going to wait for so long. What's it going to be? Nobody wants the job. I could really entice somebody at 200% and... Well, the newspaper hasn't printed yet, so the classifieds haven't arrived. We don't have internet yet. So, oh, 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 got somebody coming. He is, wait, wait for me. I want the money. Wait. <sighs> Sorry, you fired. <laughs> I'll leave you at 120, though. This is a hard one to get people to come out here. Yeah, with that failure, we'll call this one done. So, Noble Rambler, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.